Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, Khusham Deed. Ji ayanu, khuyo morakha. Pakhair agale, ni hao, juna shumbe, wash wale, ohaya good zaymiz, guten morgen, ola. Boyor, priviyat, kaifa hal, hale shuma chatore, ahlan wasalan, marhaba. Buna, mucho, gracias, swabi up, and a very amazing good morning to everybody who's tuned into PTV World and are watching World this morning. Alongside the very fantastic, the very amazing, the very <laughs> handsome Shazad Khan <laughs> and the very energetic, the very positive, the very amazing Shiza Hashmi. Hello Shiza, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for asking. What about you? I think I feel great and it's because of the fact that the kind of conversation we're going to have on our show. But ladies and gentlemen, we are not going to give it away just like that. Yes. Because today, uh, in the first place, I think Shiza has got a <coughs> wonderful <coughs> message for all of us. So without any further ado, let's Excuse see me. what Shiza has to share with all of us. All right. Well, this has to do with uh, positivity, okay. and I think this is something. Uh, as much as we have in our life, we still need more. Like, yeah. right? There's never enough. So this is for everyone out there who is having a silent battle within themselves. And I think a lot of people do that. A lot of people have probably sometimes the courage to not share it with someone. Yeah. But inside, they're going through so much. So, well, this is first of all a prayer that whoever is going through something, I hope they get out stronger. Yeah. Secondly. Uh, surround yourself with positivity that is in terms of the people that you are Thank going you, out Thank with <laughs> people that you're talking to on the phone with the kind of shows that you're watching on tv even they matter right the kind yeah. of food you're having everything just make sure that it adds towards uh, well adding a little positivity in your life it makes you happy it makes your brain happy what else does one want wonderful that's great as well but usually you know Shiza, this is a question which i wanted to ask you as well that usually the kind of messages we uh, come across or we give or we share with people is actually the kind of uh, thought process we are in as well. More so or are, less. Are, are you in that kind of a thought process or do you think that you really need to talk about something? I am in the thought process that I always need more positivity in wow. my life. So yeah, that's what I'm that's talking about. That's wonderful, which is why I've got one thing to share with everybody out there as well. And I don't know whether this phenomena is right, whether it's going to work for everybody or not. But this is something which I've heard and I think that it might work as well because Usually what happens is that whenever you are in an argument with hmm. somebody who's got uh, a lot of negativity to themselves, I'm sorry that I have to say this, <laughs> but yes, you do come across such people. So they say, the wise men say that uh, you really do not need to, you know, kind of uh, use your positive energy in arguing with a person you who you know for sure is actually going to take it in a very negative manner Absolutely. or in the, other, uh, in the other way. So I think that this is something which is very apt. Uh, because every now and then whenever we are in conversation with somebody who just does not like your face, mm. you know, he or she will actually come up with something where it's going to be a disagreement. So what's the point of even being in conversation with somebody? You know, let's not waste that energy and use it for, uh, for somewhat better than the, the previous one. I think that this Absolutely. needs to be done. Yes, what do I, you have to say about this? I do agree with you. I mean, I think we should definitely be... Uh, cognizant of the uh, of the places that we're ready to invest our energies in that's yeah. what you wanted to say and i think exactly. i totally agree with you i wouldn't ever uh, first of all get into an argument oh, yeah. i i don't like doing that it just consumes me i <laughs> really don't like doing that so well if, um, if it was me i would definitely avoid that but yes this is what this is what matters yeah. this is for your own personal being no one's going to question you it's about your own mental health yeah. so do not invest your energies in something that is only going to cause you harm. Wonderful. And uh, finally, <laughs> we are on the same page, ladies and gentlemen. But very quickly, you know, Shiza actually came in a very good mood today. And uh, just before we got started with the show, she was actually singing a song. Oh. For the very first time, I've actually heard her singing a song that to before the show. And, and the lyrics and the lyrics were some so what do you want me to hear the lyrics it's, it's, <laughs> okay, it's, it's, I think it's a classic i don't mind <laughs> it is a classic though but uh, do you want to sing it for all of those no, people no i don't want to <laughs> sing it for <laughs> but it was, it was it's a wonderful start yes. to our mornings ladies and gentlemen and the kind of things we have over here on the table and the kind of guests over here uh, ladies and gentlemen are definitely going to talk about something which is relatively new not a lot of people know about it and even while we were researching about it we hmm. were a little confused we were like okay <laughs> can this actually happen all right. Mm. Yeah, you're right. And well, here's the thing. So I'm wearing a floral pattern and there's a reason to that. So we sort of wanted to be in sync with what we are talking about today. Wow. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of um, housewives even are into gardening, right? Yep. Or, you know, home kitchens and whatnot, yeah. which is a good thing. I've always been game for it. I have wanted actually, you know, and also supported my mom to do it as well. She started and then she left and whatnot. But there are certain people who are so passionate about it, Shazad, yep. you know, growing plants at their own place. And then 
actually starting a business of it as well. Yeah. But it's safe and healthy. It's um, eco-friendly. That, that is what we're talking about. Now, here's the confusing part, like you said, and I'm with you on that. Yeah. How, which gardening is not eco-friendly? I mean, yeah. when you think of growing plants, it, it is supposed to be eco-friendly, right? Exactly. So where are the things that we, some, what are the things, in fact, sometimes we miss out on in terms of, you know, considering that, oh, this is what, it's the one thing we shouldn't do yeah. because it's going to harm the environment. And, and you know what, I'm going to actually share my, the, the kind of uh, uh, thought process I went through while I was researching about it. Yeah. You know, because the same question popped up in my head as well. And I was like, okay, you know, we're talking about gardening. It's all soil. It's all mud. Uh -huh. you know, it's all plants. So it needs to be all organic. Right. And why are we even bothered about eco-friendly gardening? So then <laughs> I eventually, you know, uh, kind of started to read a lot of articles. And then it came down to a point that, you know, when obviously somebody's gardening, Ladies and gentlemen, we do have a lot of carbon emissions. We do see climate change and these carbon emissions have an impact on them. Now, when we talk about carbon emissions, we, it is because of the fossil fuels we use. You know, a lot of pesticides we use is actually uh, probably there's, there's one of the contents of that particular pesticide is petroleum itself as well. Mm -hmm. And then not just that, you know, probably you when, whenever you have to transport your uh, fruits and vegetables to another location, obviously the, you, you will use uh, transport carbon emissions once again you use tractors you use other things as well and the best part over here is ladies and gentlemen to actually reduce your carbon footprint for mm -hmm. the every uh, pound of fruit or vegetable you're actually going to produce will reduce two pounds of your carbon emissions That's so amazing. so this is great and you know not just that i think using all of these pesticides and fertilizers ladies and gentlemen has made our food inorganic as well uh, yeah which exactly. is why i think it's about time that we come down to eco-friendly gardening how it needs mm -hmm. to be done how it needs to be out there i just feel like you answered all my yeah questions. and how we, <laughs> and this is how we are actually going to be healthier as well right, because just right. the other day we were talking we had people from united nations world food program we had people from food agriculture organization as well and they kind of spoke about each and everything uh, and we spoke about uh, stunted growth we sp uh, spoke about being malnourished as well so imagine if the food we're going to eat is a little inorganic and it is even dependent on the water you use as well. Really? I, okay. I think that everybody needs to speak about it because if the water is going to be dirty, if the water is going to come from a dirty source, ladies and gentlemen, it is going to have an impact mm -hmm. and uh, probably you're going to lose all of those vitamins the and nutrients, uh, basically. Well, yeah, all the, all the nutrients. So I think today it's going to be a great day. The kind of plants we have over here is wonderful and the guests who've taken this initiative are entrepreneurs themselves. You know, they've, they've done a great deal to themselves and to the entire country. Even Prime Minister of Pakistan, Mr. Imran Khan, has spoken about it as well. So, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, this is where we are headed today. So, without any further ado... And I promise you, everyone who's watching this show, including us, is definitely going to learn something of it as well. Yeah. And the best part is that by the end of the show, we're actually going to be gifted a plant as well. So, maybe we are bribed already. No, it's just a joke. <laughs> yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, today we are speaking about eco-friendly gardening. We've given you a preamble as well. And... So the first step, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is an entrepreneur. She happens to be an eco-friendly gardener. And I she like is Ms. Sabohi <laughs> Ali. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. Wa alaikum Welcome as back. Thank you After a long time. Yeah. It's <laughs> exactly. wonderful to have you. And the energy you guys have is awesome. And alongside her, ladies and gentlemen, we are very lucky. We are very lucky. I don't know whether she is because uh, <laughs> she happens to be her competitor as well. She uh, herself is an eco-friendly gardener, ladies and gentlemen. She is... Miss Romana Sikandar. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. Assalamu How are you? Absolutely perfect. And thank you very much for joining us. It's wonderful to have you. Just All very right. quickly, ladies and gentlemen, mm. before we uh, get our conversation started, I think I've been raised in a household. Can, I, can my, we zoom in, please? Yeah, where my <laughs> nani, where my nana, not my dada and dadi because we didn't have a garden at, in, in that uh, house. <laughs> but my mom, my khala, ladies and gentlemen, everybody's a gardener at my place. And we wow. love so nice. yeah, <laughs> the flower bears and we love to do and things. We have to be very careful. Yes. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, now my, and, and now my mother has actually progressed to another level where she's like, you know, we need to have our own cow as well. And oh, then oh, we wow. have the hands. Oh, and you know, since we live in an urban area, it's difficult to kind of look oh, after yes. all of those hands mm. as well. You know, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> let's get the conversation started. All right, let's do it. This is going to be very interesting and well again as I mentioned my mom has been into it as well but she always had someone to take care of her things in terms <laughs> yeah. of you know firing and gardening and whatnot so well mm -hmm. uh, this is a zoom in of one of the plants that Miss Sabuhi created it has a tag of her brand as well it's really what plant is this uh, it's a succulent and okay. it's uh, not very much lovely plant for water. One as well and it's so easy to actually water. maintain, easy, right? Yes, easy to maintain. Brilliant. And uh, apparently, ladies and gentlemen, this is the one which I'm going to be taking back home as well. Yes, 
see about <laughs> and that. I need, actually. To speak. I, need to, I need to talk about it. So, what plant is this and what uh, have you done? It's zebra havertia. It's also the kind of succulent. So, turtle is carrying this zebra. So, it's like oh, so, so, is oh, it always this small in size, this, this plant? It, it's normally, it is small, but it will give you pubs. Because I have a bigger version of it. It will yes. give you pubs. And if you will shift it into a bigger pot, because it's all depending upon the size of pots, mm. where you are planting your plants. Oh, oh, right. If that is a big plant, the plant will grow. If it will be small, it will remain rough. Wow, wow. that's wow. interesting. So, wow. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the basics, Mr. Buhi and Mr. Mana. When you say eco-friendly gardening, uh, we do probably get the gist of it, but do explain to us, first of all, how you came across the idea okay. and what does it actually mean? Okay, my first motivation was my khala, Mrs. Sabri, because uh, my throughout my whole life, I was, uh, you know, inspired by her. Mm. And he was my full of uh, that motivation of this gardening. But unfortunately, I could not learn from her all this. Um, he is no more for last two years, but she, uh, her plants are with me. And uh, Miss Salma Kamal, she is my teacher in kitchen gardening. Nice. And uh, one of my favorite YouTube channel that is, uh, is Har Ahmed. So, you know, I was fan of watching these YouTube channels. Then um, the last five years, mm. I started my own gardening. Initially, I was having only three plants: the typical money plant, <laughs> Rad Kirani, and jasmine. Pakistan's yeah. typical. All that because my Bullet mother. Bullet of berry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now we I have that. Right. <laughs> but all these, uh, I was starting with all these three plants, okay. and I was thinking this is all about gardening because yeah. these were, you know, very low maintenance, easy to carry plants. But then after uh, watching those videos and Ma'am Salma Kamal, she is my teacher in kitchen gardening. Mm. So I'm able to work on my gardening and eco-friendly, how I can say, because you know, the, these clay pots I'm using, yep. I'm not using any plastic material. Wow. Mm. One of the plastic thing you can see here, that is this nozzle, because this is to water these succulents. Okay. Wow. This is also the recycle thing, because we, we are using those hair dyes and it is coming with that. I'm not throwing it out because reuse, recycling and all and these upcycling. things and upcycling so i'm upcycling my little toys this fairy garden yeah whenever my pot you know is broken i'm not throwing it out okay so uh, i'm not throwing it out and i'm uh, actually right. um, i'm working with this also and wow. making it fairy garden wonderful and we're going to come back to you too mm. as well but let's move on to mr mana over here so yes. mr mana you have a lot of plants in front of you mm, yeah. but before we even talk about that please uh, share with our viewers what is eco-friendly gardening? How did you get into it? And once you got into it, why are you competitor of Mr. Bohia? <laughs> we are friends as well. We are the best friends. Wow. <laughs> yeah, uh, actually I started uh, gardening uh, at, um, five to four years before. Yeah. And I joined a group, Facebook group, uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Grow Green PK. Okay. Yeah. So I'm, uh, that, yeah, from, yeah. There, from there I start as a member and now I am Alhamdulillah the moderator of that group with 19,000 wow. members and every day we teach wow. them um, about the gardening and we force them. Uh, people use the NPK type of fertilizers and pesticide, chemical pesti uh, pesticide, we don't use that, hmm. never. Uh, um, Unke ilawa jo hum kar lete hain, organic fertilizer we use, banana peel water, onion peel water, they are the yes. best fertilizers for Let the plants. Let us know about it. Okay. Yeah. And, and before we even speak about these fertilizers, there's another, uh, I don't know whether it needs to be labeled as a fertilizer, but we call it mulch. Mulch is mulch a different is thing. A yes. okay. Mulch is a different thing. Mulch is the, uh, you can mulch with the peanut shells, you can mulch with the uh, dry leaves. But what you does that mean? Mulch uh, secures your so top soil from the heat or oh. with the frost. Oh, okay. oh is it, it like this where you put in tiny pebbles and stones in the uh, so yeah. Sometimes you can say, but organic mulching is important to hmm. save your plant from the warmth, the heat, and the coldness mm. of the weather. Because whenever we are topping it up with, you know, because um, uh, the, the gandaria, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yes, and the chilies we are eating, yes. and the the sitas. So we are and moongpali ke chilke, the peanut husk mm. and rice husk. Rice yeah. husk. So yes, we are well. spreading it on the top layer of our plant, and we are securing it from all that the coldness and the hot and cold weathers. Wonderful. Wow, that that's is mulching. Very interesting. Okay, yeah. interesting. Yeah. So now so, coming back to banana peel and yes. uh, banana, onion water. Yeah. Yes, banana peel water, uh, uh, potato peel water, and onion peel water. The, uh, these are the source of the NP, like NPK 
phosphorus, magnesium, mm -hmm. and all of these. Uh, Potassium, uh, phosphorus, and nit nit nitrogen. Yes. Okay. And, and uh, what are going to be the advantages of using the banana peel water? I think that's the kind of conversation we would oh, love to I have because like because it's a replacement for the fertilizers, right? That's yeah, what we're chemical saying. fertilizers. Yes. Chemical and fertilizers. even pesticides. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> pesticide for the pesticide, we use only organic uh, neem oil hmm. and uh, onion, uh, garlic, vinegar. and vinegar. And are we use only these things as a pesticide. Oh, Normal okay. dishwashing. Yeah. Normal yes. dishwashing liquid. Just put one or two one drops, or two drops in the water in the and water. the white vinegar, and then spray it on your plants. And but next day, don't forget to wash them because uh, you know otherwise when sun mm, uh, sunlight can burn, burn. And we always uh, so. prefer to do spray in the evening. Okay. okay, so here's the thing. So when you do, you, you use these as fertilizers. So the yield that we're talking about, is it going to be increased? Is the quality going to be better? I can tell yes. you my own experience, like banana peel water, it's very easy to make whenever you are eating bananas. So don't throw their peels. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and put them into the water, like 10 or 12 banana peels, uh, cut into half uh, small pieces small and pieces. put them into the water. Yeah. Keep it in shade, don't in sunlight, because then it will, you know, you will not Lose be able the to nutrients. smell it. Oh. <laughs> and then dilute it with uh, full water and give it to your plants. Uh, my, I was having my fairy uh, flowers, like the, these uh, li white lilies, mm -hmm. uh, rain lilies, and for one year it was not blooming. When I put this banana peel water into it, just after three days, just after three days, they were blooming and they are still blooming. Yeah. Oh, wow. amazing. It's now, amazing. And you know, these are some of the tiny hacks that we can do at the expense of our own kitchen. Yes. But we don't yes, know course. about these things. About kitchen, I can tell you one thing. I'm also admin of one group that is very interesting, the saviors. Oh. You know, saviors, all female are in that group in WhatsApp. Only two male are brothers, Zulkan oh. and Bhai and Heather Bhai. And all female, we are feeling relaxing. There we are sharing all our ideas. One of the ladies, she is boiling all the peels at night in the water. And in the morning, she is giving it to plants. The yes. ready NPK, wow. yeah. nitrogen, phosphorus, and the other thing. And uh, um, for last four years, I did not throw any of my kitchen waste yes. into the because oh, it is also oh, yeah, recycling. Yeah. And we make the compost with we that are making also. Compost. We have you know, the gamlas or maybe old coolers or clay coolers. Yeah. But I'm using that clay basket, clay pots, and uh, putting all the kitchen waste in it. And just after two or three months, but it's a process. We have to use that. Hmm. And then this compost we are giving to our plants again. So and it that is, is organic system. compost. So, so, so That's why we, we told it uh, eco friendly and organic. Yeah. Yeah, oh, now it makes sense, right? So, so it's primarily kitchen gardening as yeah. well. Yes. I, and it's yeah. wonderful. But you know, since we're talking about eco-friendly gardening over here, and we're talking about reducing, you know, the the carbon emissions or the carbon footprint as well. You know, talking about, for example, plants. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, when we talk about plants, obviously, they, they, these are the plants which are not going to bear fruit or vegetables mm. to themselves as well. So yes. why do we have to put in so much effort rather get a bag of pesticide <laughs> or a fertilizer and just get the job done? So because I'm, I'm originally concerned about having organic fruits or vegetables as well. Yes. Yes. Plants, it's of fine. Course, exactly. or, and well, what I wanted to ask over here is that uh, if you're going to use uh, pesticides or fertilizers, then the, the oxygen emissions from the plants, mm. is it going to be affected? Yes, definitely, of course. because when we are using these chemical fertilizers and pesticides, so plants are not liking it, they are growing, they are blooming, <coughs> you will see that they're lush <coughs> green, Excuse me. but in this way you will not be able to get these all, you know, organic. So is it is it exactly like eating a poultry chicken, you know, because it's been fed by, yes. you know, yes. some such? Yes, exactly. Oh, that oh, makes sense. So, so probably it's happening with our fruit and vegetables yes, as well? Yes, yes. Which wow. is why I thought yesterday in the gym, I was like, man, come on, where's my power going? Probably I'm not having the right food. Now, you know why? You will so, see the difference when you will eat your own grown tomatoes and cabbage. Because nowadays, this is the season for growing your winter vegetables. Yes. And we are yes. all, you know, uh, we are all growing. And yeah. in pots, we are growing in pots. Exactly. Oh. And not in mm -hmm. pots. And sometimes we are using, you know, these fruit crates, yeah. the plastic <laughs> baskets. Okay, we are okay. just using a layer of old bed sheets, yeah. mm. old bodies, and then we are putting that soil into soil it. Soil mix on uh, Only bhalmati, cow dung, and yeah. compost. Wow. wow. And then yeah. we are showing, and all our group members, mm. they are busy. Uh, daily, they are, you know, showing pictures. So it is also motivation and inspiration because yeah. I'm yeah. late. Yeah. And especially, you know, to connect with people who share the similar interest, I think it's very interesting. Yes. But now, girls, I need to know the secret. <laughs> 
Uh, how, how come you guys became entrepreneurs of something that you were so passionate about? And Ms. Yeah. Sabuhi, I know for a fact that you were doing a job and then you left that just to become an entrepreneur. Um, it's due to some corona thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, my contact did not extend, but then I came to know that entrepreneur is not the thing like you are feeling sad about your job, but mm. in this way you can provide job, create job for others. Yeah. Yes. Like I'm doing this gardening and you know this is my butterfly bath. Well, what is it? Please. please yes, sure. this is my butterfly that, bath you? and uh, it's now at this time it is without water and you can see oh, it this is, is the my prettiest. I'm gonna fairy buy it garden. Off you. you know whenever my pot is broken so too. then <laughs> I'm using converting it into my this these are all real plants oh. and all these toys are of my childhood or my children's child because Huge. this is upcycling I'm yeah. not buying anything so all these are and it's converted into the fairy garden it's not yeah. only looking beautiful but it is also growing these succulents and these are also right. uh, creating pups one yeah. question this though, is sorry, butterfly. yeah sorry. this is what I was gonna okay. ask but, but so is this only water that you put in what attracts butterflies? Yes, I'm, uh, Are you going to zoom into this? Can we do that? Absolutely. It's really important. Okay. <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, you keep talking. Okay. Producer, can we please uh, zoom into this part where we've been upscaling and yes. Mr. Bowie has actually used uh, all it's of these so toys cute. from her there's a bell. childhood, ladies yes. and gentlemen. There's a bell, so <laughs> yes. wherever there's a butterfly, she's going to ring a bell. Oh. So don't and, throw and your what are all of these green things? Uh, I mean, these I don't are, know. It is the moss. moss yeah. and, yes. so and how does it help? Um, it's just growing and it's, you know, uh, giving us greenery and keeping it green and all that the living things Wonderful. are Wonderful. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a broken uh, pot, you know, pot, pot don't throw that's them. what you don't can do. But, you know, uh, please make sure that you don't have a broken pot as well because every now and then whenever me and my <laughs> nephews are playing cricket within our ports, you know, single tip, mm -hmm. what happens is that we do come across a situation <laughs> where I've broken a pot with the ball and my mother is not very happy about it. I know, I was about to say yeah. the women must yeah. not be happy yeah. about that. It happened with me last now you night. Can my show husband uh, broken my pot and you know, today morning when Were I, you was, angry with him? I was, you know, uh, walking in my garden, I've seen my favorite <laughs> pot was broken and a plant was lying there. And then I came across, you know, no cat cannot do this because <laughs> no broken pieces was there. Yes. But then I apparently, I asked my husband and he said, yes, oh, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the the butterfly bath, uh, Shiza, you were uh, asking about yes. it. So it's actually a part of mm -hmm. my butterfly bath. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, creating butterfly bath and bee bath. Why so what attracts them? Yeah. Yes, because and I'm we are putting attacks? water in it and uh, it's blue and pink. Sometimes butterflies are attracting to these colors. Oh. Oh. Bees and honeybees, they are attracting towards yellow colors. Mm. That's why I'm creating the honey uh, bee bath in yellow, yellow color. color. Wow. These pebbles are for their landing because whenever they are coming and they they want to drink or sip mm. or they bath, sink they, often. they can drone in it. Yeah. So yeah. they can, f uh, they can you know, land on these pebbles and then they can sip their so water. You're exactly do not have to fill it up <coughs> till the, the top. And yes. I'm filling it that so the pebbles are here yeah. and wh what they are treating because they are our guests, they are yeah. pollinators. They are pollinators. The main thing wow. is they are the pollinators and the pollination is a must important, important thing absolutely. in the gardening. Exactly. So and, and you've painted a lot of stones and pebbles as well. Yes. So yes. You might and one thing yeah. about the eco-friendly, we don't use the oil paints. Yes. Okay. We always okay. use oil oh, why paints. Why do we use the paints? Uh, to, to make it look good. Yeah. 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 To, to make it look good. But water based. Water based. We always use water based. So what is okay, this? Okay, that's pretty. So, Mr. Romana, also part. while we're looking at these things, let us know about your this? entrepreneurial journey. Uh, we started uh, <laughs> uh, in June, I think, my and yes. June, this, and uh, Alhamdulillah, it's going good, and uh, we are very happy and now doing the exhibitions and this all things. Wow. So, it's, are there like uh, annual competitions or something, or the friends groups that you're talking about? Do you guys have we are the admins and the moderators, so mm -hmm. we can't participate in that competition. Oh. So okay. We are the judges uh, yeah. on that. But uh, in gardening groups, in social media, we are very active on um, on these things. It's great and it's wonderful and we and we love your energy and we love the kind of yeah. work you're doing as well. And plus you're raising awareness, which is wonderful. But you know, this is one thing which I've uh, observed for myself and that is that, you know, if there's there are two ladies in the mm -hmm. room, uh, both of them are actually <laughs> going to ask the other lady whether who looks better and who's <laughs> dressed is better as well. So I think same is the case when you actually yeah. go visit your yes. places as well. And you're yes. like, hey, you know what? Yeah. Your yeah. garden looks we, amazing. Uh, and, and then at the back yeah. of your head, you we might think, hey, you know what? We are all the time on the phone. All the time, yes. What do you want to do? I don't want to do this. We help each other a lot. Yeah. Nice. And uh, sometimes uh, she feels da uh, down, so mm. I motivate her. Or sometimes mm. I feel down, so she motivates me. Wow. No, 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 no. We have to do this. In our group, Savior, there are more than 60 women in WhatsApp group and daily when we are 
feeling down and I'm holding my phone, there is someone who is showing pictures yeah. of the plants. All, the, all the pictures are there. So, oh, and wow. videos you and then we are, very creative yeah. and we are getting creative. We are getting inspiration. Yeah. Oh, Rumana has sown, Ghazala has sown the seeds yeah. and Jamila is doing this. Why I am not doing it? Exactly. And this is what I was We are the ladies who don't talk about the shoes and the clothes and we all are about it. I already realize how excited our guests are as well, you know, which is why, you know, this is something which I'm going to share with you. Now, coming back to the same situation and the same example, I have given you, I Alhamdulillah happen to have five sisters, mashallah, mashallah. happily married <laughs> and you know, so they do fight over clothes and dresses and <laughs> okay. whatnot. and that there's, that and there's that this one saviour. That happened in the past, we do this in the past, but now totally our lives are changed. <laughs> and there's, this, there's this one saviour, so what she does is that God forbid if there's a suit which is not available, on any of the franchises of whatever brand, she's oh. actually going to arrange it for everybody, right? Yeah. Which is fair enough. Obviously, she's going to arrange it for herself in the mm. first place and then it goes to exactly. somebody else. So, same is the case with plants. You know, yes. there, yes. There, yes. there are so many plants people want to die for, God forbid. Exactly. And they're like, okay, Romana has this. We why why, we, why we don't I have this? For each other. So, have a, hear me out very closely. So, does that ever happen that we you actually... Are. Listen. We are the live example. Can you, can you listen to me just for a for, 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 for <laughs> second? I'm very passionate to answer that Everybody question. Everybody knows inside it. What I'm going to ask you is, did that ever happen that Mr. Rumana actually ordered a plant from you? The plant came in. It was so amazing that you refused to give it to her. Oh. <laughs> or vice versa. Okay. Did, you, did Mr. Rumana did that to you or did you do that to Mr. Rumana? No, I think Hello, not, honestly, not time, come on, honestly, let's do this. Yes, no, no, it is no, honestly. No, honestly. Uh, not, uh, I think it's never happened, even not in our 60 members, because we have two brothers there, Zulkan yeah. and Bhai, Heather Bhai. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if we are, you know, fighting uh, on the plants, so my plants are doing this and this, but they are also came in and <laughs> okay. then they are sorting out all the things. But the thing is, we never have like this type of fight. Whenever because I'm whenever I buy the plant, hmm. I ask him, uh, her, Sabuhi, do you want this? Exactly. I'm buying this. Yeah. Okay. And if she, if she uh, say yes, I bought two. And uh, same, ये भी से लगा देती हैं shopping पे जाती हैं और मानों मैं ये plant ले रही हूँ ले लूँ I say yes तो वो हमेशा हमारे जो plants होते हैं वो दो दो ही आते हैं wonderful and and the best part is that you know this this one thing which I wanted to add to it I know she said that you are holding something back as well and and that is that with plants you actually do not get demoralized because they're just like babies oh yes even my father I've seen my father cleaning the plants talking to them I've seen my mother doing that as well and I kind of feel that for myself as well. And when you see it blooming and growing, oh, yes. you exactly feel like as if, you know, they, they're is, just yeah. like your children. It's the reality because, you know, when I lost my job, I was in complete depression. And that the corona itself, okay. living at home, don't go outside. But then my plants, all the time I spent with my plants, That's I was so talking to them. I was feeling they were responding to me. Wow. Yes, they are responding. Early in the morning. After all, of course. Yeah. And, well, you, you're right, Shazad, of, you know, how sort of it grows on you and you want to take care of them. So here's the thing, I, uh, apparently I think that I was gifted a uh, bonsai juniper that Shazad no. thinks is not, <laughs> but we'll talk about that and later. she figured so it out today, you know, she, I still think it I is. I was like, can I see the picture and she was like, yeah, yeah, you can see the picture and I saw the picture and I was like, you know what, it's, it's exactly not bonsai, it's, it's, it's probably a rip off and somebody has actually done something wrong. That, that. Well, I hope not, but here's the thing, so when I was, I mean, getting it, I was like, you know what, I don't want to get it for one reason and that is because it's going to die in front of my eyes. I don't want that to happen. Oh, yes. And my hus husband is like, you know what, this is what responsibility <laughs> I will take. I This is like my baby, I'll take care of it. Yeah. He never took care of it. Okay, but you know, can, can we do it right now? Can you please share, share the picture with Mr. Bari Ali so and ask her? It's so you and you're not going to say anything, uh -huh. okay? And maybe uh, one of my group member, Jamila Api, she is in law, maybe she is watching this program and she is doing this. But we can sh share expert. it on television. But we can share it on okay. television. But uh, we're going to share it with you right now. Just preamble though, so I if mean... it's a bonsai or not, ladies and gentlemen, that's There it. are okay. different types of bonsai. <laughs> no, 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 no. See, okay. it is also okay. a bonsai. Do you know? It is also a this bonsai. This is what I was saying. Okay, this is dying. But let's see. There are three different plants on this tiny, It's not a bonsai. This is tiny, tiny. No, these are not <laughs> you guys are so mean. Well, well but yeah, well, it's all right. But <laughs> actually, actually, these are succulents right. which you can see here, and yeah. these are all succulents. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, but this was actually someone cheated you. you. Oh, someone cheated you. Yeah. I think I'm feeling really bad about this it's right now. Right. Which is why I need to go out. We can the PR chance. agency once again, and be like, hey, you know what? We're not working yeah. with you again. But it's all right. Uh, it was uh, it was wonderful to have you over here. And uh, since we are left with very little time, we have some little angels waiting for us mm -hmm. as well. But uh, it was wonderful to have you and we had a 
brilliant show today know, with you guys as well. Amazing. And we want you to come back over and over again with every sure. season, you know. We would love because to. We would love to come Because we have a lot of seasons as <laughs> yeah. well. But very quickly, but what, what I need to ask you uh, is that, you know, when, since it's winters now, mm -hmm. and in, in winters we have seen that, you know, that the grass actually, uh, you know, kind of loses its color. Mode, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, everything's just a little dry and whatnot. So you actually spoke about that you guys are focusing on plants yes. for winters and flowers yeah. for winters and the kind of vegetables and fruits hmm. we can have. So please come on, give us some quick tips. In winters, what kind of gardening can we take on? First of all, your winter vegetables like carrots and, you know, radish and salads, all these things you okay. can grow. The all, uh, things, uh, the all things needs the sunlight. Main yeah. thing is the sunlight. Mm. If yeah. your plants and your grass gets four to five hours of uh, sunlight, they will be okay. Right. Like humans. Yeah. <laughs> but over here, what I've seen is that people have actually imported these lights from Thailand and uh, yes, somewhere else. They're all available here. In sometimes, yeah, sunlight light. is not there and you are putting your plants indoor. That's why we are saying nothing is indoor, indoor. for indoor. Okay. Okay. Every have plant to, needs light. Mm. Yeah. Then okay. grow lights can work there. All right, all right, so, right, so, so we're focusing on carrots hmm. and? Sal all type of salads, all, all type, type the broccoli and you know, yeah. your iceberg, lettuce, and uh, pudina, mint. All these thania, things all can these be grown in the pots these, as well. These are, these are not a season specific, right? They grow no, uh, these are the all, season specific. All season, but in this season, uh, carrots and yeah. radish these and... Are, these are the winter uh, vegetables. Got it. But that is a hybrid thing that you have to have a whole year available. But it's not organic. And it does not even taste like that, right? It's what you eat in the season. Exactly. And, and one more amazing thing, ladies and gentlemen, so from the turtle. I he is obsessed with it. <laughs> and this is very interesting, you know, so uh, I don't know, I think that pretty much every other tree can be a bonsai. I do not really know oh. the, uh, <laughs> you know, traits of it as well. And it's because of the fact bonsai is known for its smaller size and, and uh, the age, uh, the yes, age age. you know, it's, if it's 35 or 40 years, yeah. it's 50 years as well. But what Ms. Saboy has told me today is that uh, if you're going to plant uh, Whatever you plant it in a smaller pot, the size will be smaller. Hmm. And if you're going to uh, plant it in a bigger pot, the size will hmm. be bigger. Exactly. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think same is the case with life. You yes, want yeah. yourself in a bigger pot or hmm. in a smaller pot. Yeah. <laughs> I think this was amazing to wrap yeah. up with. Thank you so much, ladies, for being here. Thank you so much Thank for you so much. I want to well, say one last inspiring yes, us. Yes, yeah. go all on. the families because because you know the families of gardeners they are not happy with us. <laughs> all the time we are you know hearing comments from them why you are working if i'm you know uh, putting a lot of loads nobody is helping me in that it's your shock it's your passion mm. so yeah. just do it yourself why you are spending all your time with plants and you know this it's is not just about them. plants yeah. trust yeah. me it's about exactly. everything <laughs> 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 no one will help you with your problems. magic yeah. butterflies but bathing right in front of you ladies oh. and gentlemen that's a sight to have as well i know it must be so relaxing but thank yeah. you so much ladies for inspiring us and <laughs> making me learn well not every plant is a bonsai <laughs> yeah <laughs> Okay, right now we're headed to a very short break, but when we come back, like Shazad said, we're going to have some tiny little yeah. angels in our studio. Yeah, and we're going to try to share that picture with our viewers as well, and you can decide I'll whether it's a bonsai or not. I'll make sure it doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. sure. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're going for a short break. Don't go anywhere because little angels will be with us after a short break. Stay Good tuned. Morning. Sitar is a plucked string instrument used in Pakistani classical music. The instrument flourished under the Mughal Empire. 
Sitar is named after a Persian word, setar, meaning three strings. It derives its distinctive timber. It wasn't a bonsai at all. I'm telling you, it wasn't a bonsai. Uh, yeah. no, I'm telling <laughs> you. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome <laughs> back. For everybody who just got tuned into PTV, what are you watching was this morning? Long said, very fantastic, the very amazing, and recently, uh, not agreeing to, <laughs> not agreeing to whether mm. she had a bonsai or not as well. But that's a longer debate. We'll do it sometime else. I wanted to share the picture, but she didn't share it with our I team. I will tomorrow, well. maybe. Okay, probably mm -hmm. tomorrow and you know, it's it's going to be a drag then, but it's all right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel for you <laughs> and Fakhir, if you're watching, bro, uh, it's, all, it's all right. So the plant you've been watering so far is not a bonsai, but whatever plant it is, it is still a plant and it um. gives you oxygen. So please make sure that you look after it because you've taken the responsibility. All right. But now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's not always about watering. I think it's always about uh, nurturing. at times nurturing <laughs> as well. And it's always about looking after your loved ones in a way that when they grow up, uh, they are a true reflection of yourself as well. So ladies and gentlemen, amidst COVID, uh, none of the kids were actually going to school and they were having a lot of fun and kind of grandparents uh, were happy, parents <laughs> weren't happy because they wanted some time to themselves I know, as well. Right? But eventually now when the schools have opened up, the kids are going back to school. We have been joined by some amazing kids over here in the studios with us. We're actually going to let us know whether they're happy about the situation or not. So first up, ladies and gentlemen, we're lucky that we've actually been joined by Miss Ayan Ahmed Raja. Hello, Assalamu alaikum Raja Saab. How are you? I'm fine. It's so good to have you. you. Your so smile cute. is so contagious and lovely. Yes. Yes, <laughs> wow, that's wonderful. Alongside Mr. Ayan Ahmed Raja, we're lucky that we've actually been joined by Miss Maheen Ahmed Rani. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. How are you, Rani ji? I am fine. How are you? Absolutely perfect. Thank you very much for joining us. It's wonderful to have you. Last but not the least, ladies and gentlemen, we've actually been joined by somebody who <clears throat> wants to be an engineer when he grows up. Alhamdulillah, he's grown up fine so far as well. He is Mr. Zain Ahmed Raja. Hello, Raja ji. How are you? Fine. Fine. How Thank you? you very much for joining us. Okay, so I think we should start the conversation with Ayan over here because you, so today you are the star of the show, okay? So to begin with, did you enjoy your summer vacations this year? Yes. It was so long, right? You didn't go to school for so long. But I don't know. No, you don't know? No, no. no. Okay. Do you, do you want you to go to school uh, usually or you do not feel like going to school usually? Mm. Do you like school? Yes. Do you like teachers? Yes. Do you like books? Yes. Do you like reading them? Yes. It's all yes, man. You're a brilliant child. Which school, which class are you in? Two. Two? Oh. Okay. Which teacher is your favorite teacher? My class teacher. Your class teacher, what's her name? What's name? You do not even know the name of I your class teacher. I think it's been so long that the students went to school that they, he forget the name of his class teacher. Mariam, Mariam. Mariam, Miss Mariam. Oh, Miss Mariam. All right, that's brilliant. But moving on to Maheen over here. So Maheen, someone told me that when you grow up, inshallah, you want to be an artist. What kind of artist do you want to be? I'm drawing. 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 Oh, do you paint already? Do you? Yes. Are you a painter? Did you bring something to share with us? I don't think so. But okay. So in the long summer vacations that we just had, because school band the corona ki wajah se koi nahi jara tha school hai na. So what were you doing? Were you painting all these months? Uh, no. What were no. you doing? Uh, everything. Uh, everything was beautiful. Yeah. Uh, but we can share and. We share our lunches and uh, we share our lunches and we greet our uh, friends. But now Corona has come. Mm. We use the sanitizer to uh, f uh, sanitize and and we wash hands with soap totally 20 minutes and we wear masks. Wow, that, that's wonderful. So Miss Maheen over here, ladies and gentlemen, is saying everybody that we need to sanitize, that we need to wear a mask. <coughs> And that we need to be very responsible citizens as well. 
Speaking of which, uh, Mr. Asad Umar actually tweeted yesterday as well, ladies and gentlemen, and he said that if Pakistanis are not going to be responsible, God forbid, we are going to lose a lot of lives and we are going to lose livelihood as well, which I think he's very right at as well because uh, of what's going on over here in Pakistan and that, you know, a lot of political gatherings are even happening. I think people need to be very responsible about following the SOPs at least, sanitize, wear a mask, but nobody's doing that and he's said it, he's tweeted about it, he's like, that we're going to lose loved ones, God forbid, and that we're I going to not. lose the livelihood as well. And livelihood, ladies and gentlemen, does matter, you know, because I have been in my room for 14 days in, in one span and then 21 days in one span as well. And I just wanted to go out and I just wanted to be at the gym and whatnot. But it wasn't happening for me. So please make sure right. that we collectively are responsible. And Shazad, you're right. You know, when you talk about livelihood, the monetary aspect of it, yeah, yes, of course. But for your own mental peace and mental health, I think you need to do something for your own self. So ladies and gentlemen, please, 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 these kids really want to go back to school. Don't create a mess by not following the SOPs. Exactly. All right, Zen, you want to become an engineer, Henna? Uh, so you want to become a, uh, so what's the engineer that works with the cars and everything? With, with is the it cars, a mechanical, is a mechanical engineer, engineer yes. Oh, is that what you want to become? Yeah. Or automobile engineer? Yeah, automobile engineer. So what is your favorite subject right now? Mathematics. <gasps> Mathematics really? really? Isn't it boring? No. You like no. doing maths? Yeah. Okay, that's a good wow, thing. that's wonderful. And which, which class are you in? Uh, Pre-ninth. You're in ninth? Pre-ninth? All right, so, so you will be actually attempting for your pre-board exams this time around as well. Wow, wonderful. Are you prepared? Uh, no. <laughs> same is the case when I was in school, bro. It's all right. And you know, uh, but do you like going back to school now since the schools have opened up? Mm. No? Well, oh, that's, that's wonderful. You're just like me, brother. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> uh, we're in the same bandwagon. But thank you very much, kids, for joining us. It was wonderful to have you. Yes. Ayan, do you want to say something to anybody out there? No? no? Your parents are watching. Do you have a message for waiting. them? Do you want to say something to your Ami and Abu? Mama or Baba? Yes. Oh, yeah. What do you want to say? Hello. Oh. Hello. <laughs> hello, ladies and gentlemen. Kids, obviously, since they do not have cell phones, they use television to say hello. <laughs> wow, that's wonderful as well. But thank you very much, Bacho, for being with us. It was lovely to have you. And uh, there's one thing which I'm going to share with you guys, and that is that uh, I wasn't a very good student while I was in school. But my parents always made sure that I'm not going to miss a single day of the school, which is why, alhamdulillah, I was able to pass my school. <laughs> yeah, I was a good student in university. I got scholarships. That's on record too as well. But wow. in school, I was... I just don't know what I what I studied in my school, man. That's it. I still you don't do remember know. anymore? No, I don't think so. Well, I think the, the... the only story I remember is Sally or the Red Apple or, you know, something of that sort. You know, I think that's what I remember. <laughs> okay, something from the English book, probably. I can't recall that. Mm -hmm. But thank you so much, kids. Uh, I had a very interesting and enlightening show yeah. for myself for so many reasons. And I had uh, the best gift of my life. Which probably I'm going to claim no, right no, after no, the no, show no. ends as well. Because I, I, I've, I've already decided where I'm going to put it. And uh, so I think I'm just going to go and present it to my mom. Ah. And I'm saying all of these lines so that she does not claim it after the show. <laughs> it's just going to stay in my That's head. That's smart. All right. Well, this was really interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions about gardening or eco-friendly gardening for yeah. that matter, write to us. On, I'm about to go. Sorry. It's write right. us on our Facebook, Twitter and YouTube with it, the name of. It's all right. You can mm -hmm. take your time. And it's with the name of World This Morning. On Twitter, it's World This Morning. On Daily Motion and YouTube, it's World This Morning, ladies and gentlemen. The fabulous repeat is going to be at five past midnight. I think this was one of the best shows we have done yes. so far as well. I'm in love with the kind of uh, environment we had today as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, please make sure that whatever you're doing, that you're reducing the carbon footprint as well, mm. ladies and gentlemen, which in result will actually help this world to be a better place. Look after yourself, live at a better place, and live at a better pace as well. Good morning. Bye.